Let's get out of here. I'm just getting to the fucking salt mines. Let's get into my natural fucking habitat. Wait. Got my fucking pistol. Can't believe I forgot the fucking pistol. Oh great, burner ammo. That's worth it. On. Hi guys. Screw y'all. They just suddenly die of a fucking sudden heart attack? What the hell? Right deep into my natural fucking habitat here. A fucking salt mine. <laughs> I'll tell you this, I was fucking salty after that fucking death. God, I hate those leapers. Like I said, they have the potential to be like the most deadly fucking enemy in this game. Oh shit! Screw y'all. There you go. I will use my the traps of my fucking advantage. They're gonna be useful. Oh, is that shotgun? Yeah, oh no, it's 44. Oh, you know what? 44. That's actually good. Motherfucker, where did you. Where did you two spawn from? Get fucked. <laughs> Fuck you and your spawn trigger. Like, for real. <gasps> Damn it. At least I got one of them. There you go. Anything? No, there was nothing. Okay. Ah. Uh, funny thing is, the salt does not flow in this section. It's a later section that it does. You'll re like you'll know it. It's like everything in its fu everything will be out to fucking kill me. Funny enough, they actually repeat and expand. Bastard! The salt mines. 
Later in the Not a Hero DLC. Funny enough, I needed those. It, it's kind of funny, actually, for me to think about this. Um, why didn't they let you make... Still green. Oh, that must be... That must be on the other platform. I'm expecting another fucking bomb here, but I think I, it's, I think it's on the other side. Yeah, they basically reused this... Uh, the salt mines and expand on it with the... Uh, not a hero DLC. It's about as stupid as one. Yeah, no shit. This is Lucas talking to the ben his benefactors. And there you go. I mean, I obviously spoiled that much, much earlier than I wanted to, but yes. The old, the obviously, and I already mentioned it, but just to reiterate, the old comatose looking bitch is Evelyn. Don't I fucking know it. There's our little thing. the case is what we were after the entire time oh fuck me dumb moment and this will kill the little bitch W's. That's like someone's in the vent. Wonder if this will ever be something that's propagated later. This whole E series. Then again, I doubt it because I mean they've they've seen how fucking out of hand this shit got. And again, that never stops umbrella. Dude, God Almighty, that never stops umbrella. They kept making that shit. So the funny thing is, what's funny to think about the umbrella situation as well, they were they actually succeeded. By the end, they were able to produce BRWs that could be controlled. It happened with liquors in the damnation movie. And Wesker even had some that he controlled. Like, the BOWs, like, that's 
That's not something that doesn't happen. It certainly fucking can. Right. I think I've got some gunpowder. I think. Flame rounds. Yeah, no, here we are. This is it. This is it. This, this, we're near the end. That's it. Cut off time. Now it's time to get all the good shit out. the main rounds. There is my magnum. My grenade launcher. Fuck it, might as well. Uh, let's use those steroids right now actually just to get our health boost. Hang them bullets. Seven whole rounds. I'm happy with that. Though they might be useful, they are ultimately slightly pointless. Uh, just in case I pick up anything else, uh, put these away for the machine gun, shotgun, yep, and handgun bullets. Alright, and like, I'm just gonna. Eat a couple of these to ensure. Oh, wait. I'm actually at full. Oh, yeah, I just ate the fucking steroid. Uh, that's silly. Okay. Oh, a neuro ran. Nice. Right. Let's hope I don't regret this. Yeah, that's what Chris goes for. show you how good the uh, enhanced rounds are and you, this will leave you questioning wait why didn't you use these earlier I have my reason I am hoping not to use the magnum rounds fuck off I love enhanced handgun rounds.
Hopefully, like I say, I should have enough. I've got the shotgun in it as a backup in case. <laughs> Fuck off, Evelyn. Wait, Sid, that fuck better not be alive. I'm letting nothing stop me. Oh shit, that might. That might fucking stop me. I'm big enough. Though I put them away, these bombs are my just in case fail safe. That will make sense a little later. Banner fuel is useless, machine gun range useless. Now you're fucking dead. Now we're actually coming up to the point for what the neuro rounds are for. Why I made so many of them. But might, maybe it's a little in excess. Who, excess, who fucking knows? Either way. These taunty motherfuckers. These rotund cunts are what they're for. The whole reason I fucking had them. The whole fucking reason I made those no wrong. That was stupid of me. Maybe five rounds I'll actually do that. Uh, seven. Seven, seven, seven whole clips. I'll do it. So I'm saving, I'm obviously saving my, I'm obviously saving that for a specific reason. And I'm sure everybody's figured out why. Because you don't, because like, unless you've got a special gun, you end the fire the boss fight with a magnum. Straight up. And goddamn coincidence, I wouldn't say coincidence of all coincidences, but of course, somehow, this <laughs> this fucking mine, this, this mine that has been abandoned for fucking ages. Somehow ends up back here. The fucking Baker house. Look at that chair. Well, that's a hint of salt was a fucking brick. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Listen, mate, you game ain't that long that I'd forgotten where the fuck I, where the fuck the game started. You game ain't that fucking long. I know where I am. There's your, and there's your knowledge that she is a fact. She is in fact a fucking hologram. Fuck off. This is your fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so this. fucking told. Don't why I keep being fucking told. Yeah, I never checked in there. Ethan, Hi. It's okay. it's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. But you shouldn't have done that! Hey, God. 
This is why, because Mia could see. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Uh huh. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. I'll kill my mind. That is. No, the little bitch is. Oh god damn it, really? You're gonna make me deal with this shit. Funny thing is I just went up and that's where Evelyn should be. Doubt it. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! And bollocks, here comes imaginary mirror. Gotta <laughs> fucking avoid that. Avoid imaginary mirror. Magnum. And look. Get away. How are you? you gotta kinda you gotta block otherwise that deals massive damage. No, no. No. Hello. No, no, no. Yes, 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 you are taking your injections. You are taking your COVID jab. You need it. <laughs> we all do. You. How have you not figured it out? Why does everyone hate me? Because you're a little cunt. Seriously. Yeah, you might want to back up. What's so funny is, I swear to God, that's meant to be a Wicked Witch of the West, um, uh, kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, now she's a fucking face in the wall. Oh, shit. You gotta deal enough damage. You gotta gotta deal enough damage to her. If she gets too close, she will eat you. Oh, there it is. See? You've, you've got to deal enough damage, so otherwise if she gets too close, she will eat you. Here comes Umbrella. What? Did you repeat that? Put this onto the pistol. Can I heal here? I'm curious. I never tried. Can't. Ugh, through the fucking leg. Through the leg, man. And she'll also eat me here. Ow. I don't care. He even survives that. But this fall. He even survives so much shit in this. I can understand why they want to make him a protagonist for a trilogy. They never fixed that. Use it. They never did. It flashes on screen so quick. I'm not saying it's not self-explanatory. I'm not saying it's not self-explanatory to pick up the big fucking gun and use it, but still.
You know how we know she's dead? Because Lia Marie, she crumbles away. Who didn't crumble away, I wonder? And then for the biggest what the fuck of this game. That's no exaggeration. This is really the biggest what the fuck of this game. Can someone get this man some medical attention? Hi, Chris. I'm Redfield. I'm glad we found you. The fuck took you guys so long? So what's interesting is, yes, he looks different from Resident Evil 5 Chris. Uh, Resident Evil 6 Chris, even. Yet Resident Evil 8 Chris looks like Resident Evil 6 Chris, but older. Looks nothing like this guy. Ethan? Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Yes, you did. That's a beautiful scene. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Calcom would like to have a word with you about um, about your relationship status. Ah, oh, man, I had fun playing this game. Fucking shot than I thought it'd be. Oh, my God. 
I could have done so much better. I could have done so much goddamn better. That one death. That one fucking death has bugged me for the rest of the game. Could have done so much better. Ah, All right, well, that was Resident Evil 7. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm going to be going into... Because I, I don't own banned footage. I own, obviously, Not, not a Hero, because it was free for everybody. Uh, but I don't own End of Zoe. I actually have to purchase that. And right now, unfortunately, that isn't on the cards. Because what I would like to do... What I would actually like to try and do is do the free canonical DLCs. Cause, well, I say canonical, but the free DLCs people give a shit about. The initial one with Zoe, which was the daughter's fan footage. Um, yeah, I'd want to do that. I'd want to do Not a Hero and End of Zoe all at the same time. Being able to do that before Resident Evil um, 8 comes out, I think is going to be uh, an impossibility, and especially buying End of Zoe at the moment would be an impossibility for me, as of recording this. And obviously I'd need to buy banned footage as well for End of Zoe, for the Daughters DLC. Um... Which is a damn shame because I really wanted to. But when I eventually do them, you can look forward to all three of them happening at the same time. So I do the Clancy one, but that's... I don't know, I'd leave that up to, up to you guys. Would you want to see me do the Clancy one as well? I'm sure it'd be interesting. But... Okay, this one's going to be fun. So, the ratings are up. Where do I rate Resident Evil 7? Right. I would say it's a buy at full price. But uh, there's also a caveat. This is going to say, this is going to get convoluted, so strap him. It is a buy at full price on PC, without a doubt. It's a buy at full price, but I would recommend getting the Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition. That comes with everything. Okay. But if you own a PC, but you also own a PlayStation 4 with the VR headset like I do, I would recommend that version over Resident e over the PC version. So the reason why... Let me break this down. This game's atmosphere is great. This game's atmosphere is stellar. But the problem is, is the atmosphere of survival horror does not really come across that well in standard play, whether it's regular PlayStation 4, Xbox, or PC. But they nail it for VR. This game nails it for VR. This game was made to be played in VR. Like, entirely. I still to this day wish they brought this game out on VR for PC. Although, because if they had, I'd be doing that instead of regular, uh, like, instead of this. But they didn't. This game shines so well. This game for the longest time, if you know, if you've been following me for the for any amount of time, or for a while now, I'll say, you would know that for the longest time, until Half-Life Alex, till I played that, this was the gold standard for VR games for me. This really held that mo that high of a regard for me as far as a VR title. And it's one of the best out there. So, because, like, like I said, the atmosphere is great. The characters, they don't have many characters, but each one of them is amazing. And you end up, by the end, you end up feeling sorry for the Bakers because you realise this is something, when you know the story of the Bakers, they tried to help Evelyn, they helped Mia. They brought them into their homes, trying to get them out of it, and you feel so sorry for Jack, Marguerite, and Zoe for what happened to them. Lucas was always a psychopath. He's a piece of shit. You don't feel sorry for him, but those three, you feel so sorry for them. Because of what, because an act of kindness got them killed. 
got them turned into horrific monsters. It's a sad thing. The shooting... Honestly, I didn't even realize aim assist was on. I would have turned that off because I fucking hate it. But that explain that could explain a little of my shit shooting, honestly. It's always got a center mass. The enemy designs, though... The enemy designs are not that scary in this game. They do not look scary to me. The little fuckers... Those are scary, the ones that crawl on all four because of the amount of damage they can do. They can fuck you up. The fat bastards are just as bad, but regular molds not really. And honestly, that really didn't come across in my play, but that's, again, because I've not played this for so goddamn long. I mean, goddamn, when was the... The shame? Actually, no, it does. So, aside from now, four years ago, four fucking years ago was the last time I played this game. Actually, no, I take that back. Two years ago. Two years ago was the last time I played this game while I was doing, um, no, it wasn't. No, that was a practice. That was me practicing something, I believe. On normal, was that? I don't know what that was, but I'd say the last proper playthrough I did was about four years ago. Or, actually, no, it might have been two, it might have been uh, three years ago, actually. Either way, you can see by these tiles, it's been a while since I played it. Um... The locations are great. Like, this is a grindhouse movie. This is a mix between Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Hills of Eyes, and Resident Evil. And I do really, really love this game. And to me, it proved that Resident Evil could still be scary. If they put the heart into it, Resident Evil 2 proved it even more. It really did. It did. And now we're getting Resident Evil 8 that looks like it's going to be more action. When people bitched and complained about Resident Evil 5 and 6 having that. Those sales figures didn't really prove that. Really fucking annoying. And I'm not saying the bad games. I'm just saying... I need my horror. And Resident Evil 8 does not look like it's going to be entirely horror. And I blame the fucking internet. Have you seen the internet when it comes to their fucking main antagonist? The big tall lady. They have... They, like, Capcom has fanned the flames of the internet first. For weird shit. It's sad. Music in this game seller as well. It's fucking brilliant. I love this game. I really do. I, I really do love this game. But that is where we're going to end it for today's stream. Not today's stream. The fuck am I talking? I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. My apologies. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Dante Crisis. Signing off. And I'll see you next game.